Hi, I'm State Senator Terry Bonoff coming back to you from the Capitol. First of all, a big thank you for your participation in last week's update. We actually had 60 people who filled out the survey and many, many more of you wrote to us regarding your comments on the governor's budget. Thank you, it makes such a difference. So this week, there's been a lot of you know continued talk on the governor's budget, and I continue to hear from you. And what I can say is I've actually spoken to the governor, and he was very appreciative to hear our thoughts about what worked and some of the things we were concerned about. And so I'll continue to update uh, on the progress of that as we go forward. But you can tell that things really are heating up. We're all introducing our bills and we're beginning to have hearings. Today we had a hearing in education on all day K. And one of the things that I participated in is making sure that if we do allow school districts to have more funds for all day K, that we also give them the flexibility to use those funds for optional three and four year old programming. And I think the districts really appreciate that flexibility. There's a lot of talk at the Capitol about the health insurance exchange. I have not yet heard that bill and won't hear it till it comes to me in finance, so I, I'm not going to speak about it till I really take the time to go through and understand all the components of it, and then I'll be sure and let you know uh, what I think about that. The other thing there's a lot of talk about at the Minnesota Capitol this week, and I think you'll see it next week as well and in the coming weeks, is with regard to the safety of our schools and the safety of our communities. And to that point, we understand that President Obama is actually coming to Minnesota on Monday to meet with our lawmakers with regard to what it is that we can do as states to make sure that we meet the needs of our communities. The things that I'm most interested in is making sure that we intervene with regard to mental health of our young people and our citizens and make sure that we um, don't have gaps in the system where we know somebody's at risk and yet we don't have any way to communicate that between critical departments. So I know I, I've heard from many of you that uh, want substantial laws to be put in place. Others believe that we already have laws, we just need to enforce them. And then of course there's those of you who say, listen, this is a tragedy, people do terrible things, but let's not mess with this. So it seems to be a controversial topic that elicits a wide degree of responses. And again, I welcome hearing from you. So thanks very much, it's an honor to represent you. And oh, last two things, I'm sorry. I did introduce a bill to expand 494. We can't always uh, do traffic with legislation, but I think it does help to put a spotlight on where it's needed. And just to let you know, I am working on legislation that would address our concerns with regard to the Hollydale project. And you'll hear more about that in the future. Thanks very much for paying attention.